Hello everybody, it's uh, Rad, and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Leo, Sun, Moon and also Rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading February 21st up until uh, February 27th, uh, 2022, and uh, should you want to skip the draw and uh, move right away to the reading itself, you can totally do that by uh, using the timestamps in the description down below. Other than this, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, guys, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads, nor as well a uh, live streams. All right, so with that being said, your draw. Uh, the first card we have for you, Leo, that will be, or Leo, uh, that is going to be uh, the King of Pentacles. Followed by the second card for you, which stands as the two of uh, of wands. Moving next, we have the ten of cups. Followed by the fourth card, which is the sun. And uh, the final card for your spread that happens to be the wheel of uh, fortune. Uh, all right, so how this is going to play out coming up next in the reading itself. So uh, you can see now your spread on the screen, uh, Leo. And uh, in this week, I can start like this. If you are expecting some kind of an approach or a, or a reach out from a person that you are more or less involved in right now, at least in my mind, how it plays out, it is that you made your move. And now you do expect that that individual to make up their mind about whatever you are proposing or whatever you are trying to do with them. That is, this is something you both are involved into. Uh, that is uh, what takes place exactly in the very first half of the week with these uh, three cards that we do have over here. So we do have that individual King of Pentacles, which is uh, either having a change of heart or he straight away, you know, sees that tangible results can be accomplished by whatever partnership, whether it's a business partnership or, or it is a romantic partnership or just friendship. The thing about the King of Pentacles it is that these people, they identify a resourcefulness and thus they do re uh, identify or rather like they do find out that whatever the situation you are both involved into it is a resourceful not necessarily materially re ma materially resourceful but also it could be very well emotionally resourceful for them the king of pentacles these people they are very well settled in a sense of that they have almost everything within their domain sorted out and they just have that tiny thing of thing that it is missing out there and it happens that you actually have it this time around or kind of like the other version of uh, the king of pentacles is again they are very well settled and they do have a lot to give but they are not they, they don't want to waste it out okay so if they are to give something to somebody whether it is their money or their heart they want to know that this giveaway is going to have a reciprocal return so they give their heart to somebody and that somebody gives their heart to them as well and so that individual which you having the two of wands here, okay, um, shows that within the first half of the week, you both are going to develop that situation, whatever that situation is in between you and in between them as well. And uh, that will be under the premise that for for the time being that the situation was developing thus far whether it is for a couple of days or a couple of weeks it does accomplish a very good results in fact the accomplishments are exceeding the expectations of this person king of pentacles and now they either are having a change of heart or they are just convinced into it that these accomplishments should not stop here at all. But, you know, a further progress into either your cumulative business or partnership, why not both, should be established and moved further. A port important thing, though, here under this premise to understand, it is that when you do have the two of wands, 
the, the card calls for somewhat of a, a responsibility, okay? So if you do say certain things, you, you promise certain stuff to, to the King of Pentacles, you make sure that you are uh, ready to face those expectations. Because, uh, like I said, King of Pentacles, a very generous person, generously is going to give to you their either love or their uh, resources, material resources or their expertise. But they are, this isn't charity, okay? This just, it's not a charity. So they are expecting something in return that they are going to make it clear what that thing is going to be whether it is your heart in the sense of emotions whether it is your uh, professional um <clears throat> manifestation and so on and so forth and actually the partnership it looks like that is gonna go a uh, very very well here with the ten of cups uh, going towards the middle of the week, you're going to find yourself being very, very happy having something to do with this person, whether it is once again a, uh, a love endeavor or a business endeavor. And uh, not, not much to be said here for the middle of the week, rather than it's you are going to consider this uh, enterprise in between you and the King of Pentacles as a, uh, as a literally as a blessing. And uh, to many of you whom pretty much how can i put it into words let's say that way are in depression and not know you know are questioning life in general well at that stage of the week which is the mid that life you are questioning its worth is going to return back to you either all of a sudden or with a, a slow progression me personally i do prefer the slow progression but uh happening all of a sudden it's it's not a bad thing at all and uh the more you enjoy these blessings that you are going to have into that enterprise leo uh the more you are going to realize how much more you can go for with that king of pentacles and that is the strive actually we are seeing here towards uh the end of the week that is from me towards the end of the week having the sun card so the sun card branches out should that be about business endeavor or should be about a romance uh, but what is common here it is that in either ways having the sun card there it means that this partnership slash relationship uh, carries on in a uh, expanding energies of growth it, it's just it's something that wants to be developed and uh, the beauty of it, it is that its development it's completely natural it's not something that you have to go out of your way so you can make progress into this uh, uh, into this situation uh, so how it branches out? Well, in terms of business, uh, the Sun card pretty much speaks uh, that you are going to make a lot of monetary gains uh, moving on forward into the future with that business endeavors. In, in friendship, the Sun card shows that whatever differences you do have, they won't matter at all. It's just, you know, you are different and you both are going to love each other for that. Uh, in terms of romance, though, the Sun card shows the happiness. It is that you are going to make each other a very happy and that isn't because uh, how can i put it into words you are um meeting certain expectations uh, but it is because either of you is going to strive to make the other one happy and when for example the king of pentacles makes you happy they are happy from your happiness and vice versa so that is kind of like a symbiosis into happiness it's a it's a great card when it comes to uh when it comes to relationship and at the end of the week having the wheel of fortune um that card it's uh it's pretty broad it's pretty wild and um in that in that follow up, it is just it cannot be said for certain what this card would represent. I could draw a Norman, but that is not what I do here into those videos just to see how it's going to manifest for you. What the Sun card says that out of this partnership, uh, through seemingly random events, random circumstances, an opportunity to make a once in a lifetime change is going to come around. But what kind of an opportunity that is going to be? Okay. Is it going to be through making money or through business or whatever? You you just, we don't know. It's just the only thing that it says here. It is that you want your chance to make a difference and to uh, 
sprawl your life and to make it much much more bigger than it is well you got it here okay at the end of this week <clears throat> And uh, hopefully you will have the courage because it does and enthusiasm, by the way, very, very important. The courage and the enthusiasm to um, make it work. And uh, yeah, so with uh, that, this is literally your week, Leo. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, hopefully you are going to make something really beautiful happening here from uh, this interaction in between you and that uh, king and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye